you've met Prime Minister Modi. What is your impression of him? And he's an abs. He's a he's a he's a firecrack. I mean, he's he's uh, he came to. I formed a very very positive impression of him. He came to he came to London. He came to see me when I was mayor, and I have no idea why, but it was fantastic. And he he took. We went down to Tower Bridge, and. He, we, we had, he, he made this fantastic sort of impromptu speech uh, outside, uh, the, outside, outside City Hall. And then he, then he went and had a rally in, in Wembley. And I, I knew then we were dealing with an absolute political phenomenon because uh, he got huge numbers of people. Oh, we're being told to shut up. Uh, he got huge numbers of people uh, to, to support him in, in, um, in Wembley. What's going to happen? What's going to happen in the, in the election, Raj? You tell me. <laughs> That's a guess that everybody would want to take here. But I've got a final question because I see Avantika here. Would you like to be Prime Minister of Britain? There is, thankfully, there is no vacancy for that office. <laughs> there is no vacancy for that office. And, and, and uh, 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 I, I would say Narendra Modi has as much chance as I have <laughs> of, being, uh, of, of being Prime Minister of, uh, of our country, judging by his... Uh, performance in, in, in Wembley. So, uh, you know, uh, I, m my job, I'm, I'm honoured that you've invited me here today. I've had, I, I've had, I always have a wonderful time in, in Delhi. All I want to do, my, I have a sing simple message to all you brilliant people at this conclave, and that is Britain is uh, open and outward looking and wants to do even more with India, and that is the, that's the message and indeed the purpose of Brexit.